A local wildlife refuge is about to get a huge makeover that will take several years to complete. Our Michael Gibson joins us now to explain what you can expect to see happening soon at the Souter Wildlife Refuge over on Ennis Jocelyn and Nile Road. Michael? Well, the 72 acre park is covered with grasses, shrubs and trees that are all not native to our area. And that's not an ideal situation for the wildlife who depend on the South Texas style fauna to be able to thrive. So the idea is to remove all the invasive species to allow for native plants to repopulate this area. I wanted to show a little bit um, of what a native understory and overstory of South Texas looks like. Um, and it looks very, very dense and very thorny. Um, and it has a lot of complexity to the understory and it provides a lot of shade. That's Joshua Kalman, project manager for the American Conservation Experience, a nonprofit group who helps to restore land back to its natural state. Kalman was basically explaining what our native animals need, and that is native plants and trees to be able to th th survive and thrive in South Texas. Kalman and the city will begin working to restore the native habitat to the Souter Wildlife Refuge. That's thanks to a $30,000 grant from Sitco to help get the project moving forward. We intend for this to be a multi-year partnership to re begin removing the invasive species in the park. City Parks Director Jermel Stevenson says this project will continue indefinitely because of how many non-native plants have grown up throughout this park. This project is set to begin on January the 6th. All of the non-native plants will be identified and then the work will begin to remove them. So don't be alarmed if you see city crews removing trees from the refuge because they're going to be getting rid of problem trees and plants so that the park will be richer with wildlife in the future. Leslie. All right, Michael, thank you so much.